last time we discussing a little bit you not know, too hard the inequality can contain absolute value. Uh, I want to do two examples and explain the the idea behind this. And I'm able to join. Samanat, so click in the link. Try again. Oh, oh, I'll try again. Well, this, uh, what is the idea? The idea is you have, for example, <coughs> the example one, two example, and explain the idea. Suppose that we have actual value 3x minus 1 less than 11. Uh, I explain that the way is uh, you write the expression inside the bar 3x minus 1 and this is less than 11 and greater than negative 11. This is the idea. And the idea is you take the number on the right hand side, you copy twice, positive and negative, and expression inside. This statement and this statement are 100% equivalent. And now you transform it, the inequality, in another inequality, of course, compound inequality, and you solve it. In this case, it's three part, and we can solve it simultaneously. You, know? you add in one, and this is negative 10. Uh huh, and this is 12. Finally, divided by 3. Mm -hmm. Minus 10 over 3. Less than x, less than 4. If 12 divided by 3 is 4. Now, my interval is that the solution that we expect in this uh, inequality is interval, only one interval. And the interval is expressed in uh, interval notation is parentheses negative 10 over 3, comma 4. Okay? Uh -huh. This is the notation that frequently, frequently, not always, I ask you in the test. Interval notation. Interval notation. Okay, remember the interval notation, the most important, have two numbers. This is the lower bound. This is the upper bound of the interval. And separated by comma, of course, you put the lower first and the upper secondly. And you put the parentheses or bracket depending if you need to include the endpoint. So basically, my interval is a bonus value in between minus 10 over 3 and 4. Okay, this interval is the solution. And include the endpoint? No. The reason can no is because this problem has no equal sign. When this problem has equal sign, well, the situation change completed. Not completed, but include the endpoint. Okay, so the fantastic way to indicate to include the endpoint is put a bracket. You put a bracket, you put it then uh, minus 10 over 3, it's the same idea, but the symbolic uh, way of the bracket indicate to include the endpoint. This idea is clear or not? Yes. Mm -hmm. Let's see now, so, uh, SEC, in general, you can understand is you have absolute value, any expression, equal or equal, no, less than uh, one number, 
suppose hypothetically 20, you copy the any expression without bar, pero in between 20 and negative 20. That's the idea. And you saw that this one, two, three part inequality. Easy, easy, easy. Therefore, 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 we obtain always when it's less than case, less than case, we have one interval, only one. However, when it's greater than, let me try to understand this. Suppose this example okay, is easy is example two is greater than so I suppose x plus three greater than or equal seven. Mm. Okay, guy. Uh, I don't know why. Uh, a lot of students don't understand very well that part. It's a classical. I explain this subject. And some people, I don't know, erase the bar, the bar is not important, erase the bar. No, no, the bar is super important. Okay? And uh, it's easy for me to grade this because, because less than cases, uh, we have one interval. However, I want to explain it and why. And the and the greater than or equal, whatever, or equal is not important. We have two intervals. Two two intervals. So this inequality is equivalent 100 percent, but the idea is different. You take the expression inside the uh, actual value symbol. And you copy two times. Why two times? Because it's two interval. And this is greater than or equal to seven. Oh, look like similar to this when you remove the bar, but it's less than or equal minus seven. Oh, you put greater than or equal exactly similar to similar or equal 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 to the given expression, but less than negative seven. I want to explain the reason why is that so actually. We convert this inequality into inequality, and we connect it in by four. Okay, that's all we have in the compound inequality solution. You solving one by one separately. X greater than or equal to seven minus three f four. Uh huh. This is one piece of the solution. Another piece is x less than or equal to minus seven minus three x less than or equal minus 10. And this is another piece of the solution. So what is the total solution? What is the complete solution? The complete solution is, let me see you ending graphically always. You ending graphically. Okay. This is my famous Orient number line. Infinity in that direction, negative infinity in that direction. Zero in the middle. This is four. One, two, three, and four. And negative ten. I suppose hypothetically. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Minus ten. So that part is greater than or equal to four. That is to the, to the right. Or include four. include four. And the way to indicate that is using bracket. And the second part is this is less than or equal minus 10. So it's to the left. Okay. And this continue, no? Whatever. And include negative 10 inside the game. Because it's or. Remember, or is union. It's put together without repetition. In this case, no repetition because this interval is completely disjoint. It's not connecting each other. Therefore, but how you write the final answer? The final answer for this problem is 
in interval notation as from negative infinity, there are two pieces, negative infinity, comma, minus 10, including negative 10, bracket, union, uh -huh, we're using that symbol, union, indicate another interval, bracket, for infinity. End of story, guys. You understand very well? So, uh, greater than case, Greater than, than case contain two pieces. Less than case contain only one piece. So one interval, either way to go. They say well, only one interval, only one piece. So when they see um, so the majority of the students are doing well less than but greater than don't remember don't understand i don't know and copy only one piece immediately i put a zero in this question okay okay the idea behind this let me explain the idea behind this it's super clear uh-huh and to say one best idea to understand this is the a geometric interpretations. Okay, for example, look, suppose that we have, suppose that we have absolute value x minus a greater than d. What is the interpretation of this? Remember the interpretation of the absolute value is distance. I suppose that you remember that. And the idea is clear. Look, this is my famous Orient number line. Uh -huh. And suppose, again, infinity, negative infinity. I don't want to put a zero, no, no problem, because A is a number, okay, here. And A is the center, center. So this uh, is a point in which the distance, the distance D is in both directions. So suppose, suppose D in this direction, let me use in this color, and D in this direction. This distance I put in red color, at D. And this is obviously A plus D, and this is A minus D. Uh -huh. Now, the solution of x minus a less than d, so this is less than, and this is greater than, the solution of less than, I explain, can look like, like that. Look, you copy the expression inside the bar without bar, and you put m between d, and negative d. This is shortcut. You solve for x, you addition a both sides, addition a both sides, addition a both sides, and we have x along in between a plus d. I put an alphabetic order a plus d, e a minus d. Wow, amazing. So now the solution for the less than is exactly. This interval I highlight in pink color. This is the solution of the less than. And it's obvious because <clears throat> you can interpret it. So you interpret that D is distant. You try to find a bunch of value whose the center is A, but the distance is close to A. What mean close? Well, as a comparison at the distance D. However, when the situation is greater than, it's completely opposite because it's not close, it's far, too far away, the distance D. So now, <clears throat> let me use another color to highlight, it's obvious that it's this. This part can highlight in green color is the solution for the for the greater than. Uh -huh. 
to say now the shortcut guys play was okay, okay. You separate, you separate the expression inside the bar and you copy it in two part. One part is greater than the other. Something wrong. I have a lot of material here. There is something wrong with the meeting. Everything is okay. Everyone follow me? Everyone hear me? Yes. Are you connecting? Uh -huh. So now, remember Sofia. Uh -huh. eh, oh, the other thing you say, eh, I send different link any, any lectures. It's not the same link. Okay. You check email and you click in the new link of today and you connect it with the meeting. Okay. Don't interrupt me anymore. Okay, so now you, I, I say, let me explain at the, at the beginning. Okay, procedure is everyone else is having the same problem. Nobody has problems, Sophia, only you. Yes, only you, Sophia. Okay. Now, the solution for the greater than is the green part. And uh, what is the mathematical? Aaron Lopez would say, yeah. There are some problem with the meeting or no? Are you connecting as always? Yes. And what problem? Tell me. You cannot connect it. It's not letting people in. Wow. Okay, uh, re repeat again the operation. You go out or try to go out and click in the link. I mean, Corral is saying it's too many people in the meeting. No, it's no problem. This is the, the number of people is no problem in the next time. Okay, so we continue, we continue, we continue. So now, I, Sophia. Sophia, don't interrupt me anymore, please, okay? Uh, you try to fix the, your problems. The problem is not fixing. So, I don't know, some, some situation happened, I don't know. Um, Okay, so the solution for the greater than is the green part. Uh, what is the procedure you can explain? You copy the expression inside the bar two times. Because it's two interval. Uh -huh. Now, <clears throat> you put greater than D, cool, and less than minus D. And we connect it by four. And you solving to say it's X greater than a plus D, I put in alphabetical order, get okay, this. And X less than A minus D, no? I move A to the right hand side, like positive. A minus D is this. So it says A greater than is to the right. And less than is to the left. It's clear or no? Yes. Okay. So, so let's move on, guys. I propose you to the review. Do you receive the package for the review? Get one page, only one page. It's easy. This is easy. Okay, look. Let me try. You receive, right? Yes. Uh -huh. I put in my whiteboard. Look. I put in my whiteboard. 
Let's do it in question one. This is typical. So you understand very well this review, you get 100 points in this test, okay? Actually, some students are already sent me the test. Yeah, I'm doing very, very well. Question one. Square root negative 64 times square root negative 25. Remember, when you have a square root and inside the square root we have negative number, it's <coughs> equivalent to say imaginary number. And the thing is super easy, you compute the square root of the positive 64, which is 8, and you put multiplication by i, because that's the imaginary unit, and likewise, this is 5i, and together multiplication is 40 i squared. But never live like that, because I know very well k i squared is negative 1, therefore the answer is negative 40. End the story. Any question? <coughs> No? Yes. <laughs> what mean yes? Can you have no question or, yeah, or, or, or everything is clear? Everything is clear. Now the second one is the square root 16, negative 16, negative 4, and negative 49. Multiplication, everything. 3. A square root of the negative number, we expect imaginary solution one by one. This is 4i, this is 2i, and this is 7i. And you multiply. 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 7 is 56. 56i cubed because we have 3i. But you need to know k i cubed is negative i. Therefore, is minus 56i. Okay? This answer is correct, is, but it's incomplete. You need to know the power of the i. Now, you need to know the okay, i cubed. So the only thing that you really have to remember is the i high. i square is negative 1, real, i cubed is negative i, e i to the fourth power is positive one real again. And this is cyclical. It's repeat four by four. Okay, number three is similar. Is square root negative 36 times square root negative 81 times square root negative 16 times square root negative nine. This is six i. This is 9i, this is 4i, and this is 3i. Now you multiply, <coughs> of course, using the calculator, uh, 6 times 9 get 54 times 4 times 3. Now the answer is 648. How many i you have in total? 4, no? But I know that I do it for a 1. One is a real invisible number, and this is the answer. Super. Yeah. No problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. Okay. This test is easy. The student that failed this test is because this is not your level. Okay. You need to take another mathematic, not this one. Okay, now this goes in four, five, six, and seven. Let me copy four, five, 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 five. Six and seven question. It's the power of I. Sometimes using neg positive exponent and sometimes using negative exponent. Okay, it's doing how. Remember the shortcut. You divide 15 by 4 by hand, no calculator. A 3. 3 times 4 is 12, subtraction, a 3. 
and you take history. Same what? Same problem, Yamori. Same what? Same problem. Uh, I suppose that you need to install the application of Skype in your own device, in your own computer. So everything gonna be okay. So far, well, I'm supposed to today you cannot connect in good. Well, those are you watching the video and you took I post it as soon as possible. Uh huh. And after we communicate with me by email and I will try to analyze what the situation is. If you continue or no, because you know it's online class. As you have no condition because your computer internet connection is not good. So you have no condition, physical condition to, to take online class. Online class have advantage and disadvantage. And the disadvantage is uh, you need to have a good device, computer laptop, or, I'm sorry, uh, you need to good internet connection. Okay, this is, this is equivalent. You take three, get the remainder. This is IQ, but I know very well my memory, the IQ is minus I. And this is the final answer for number four. 18, same thing, divided by four. By, by four, five, eight, four, no? Because five is too much, five is 20. That's 16, subtraction is two. And this is equivalent I squared. You take this spawning, like the remainder is spawning, and it's a negative one. It's real. Everyone following? Yes. But, and the negative spawning is a little bit different because, first of all, you need to find the reciprocal. So, actually, the thinking we try to find is not I to the 20, it's the reciprocal of the I to the 20. Because this negative spawning is reciprocal. And 20 is exact multiple of 4. When you divide it by 4, and 5 is 20, subtraction is 0. So this is equivalent to say 1 over i to the 0, e i to the 0 is 1. So any number of expression raised to the 0 power is always 1. Any number of expression raised to the 0 power is always 1. This is 1 over 1. One. The answer is one. I to the nine, similar, is one over I to the nine, nine divided by four, a two, is a subtraction of one, so it's one over I. And leave it like that. No, I know because the complex number need to write in a standard form. It's a division. You are doing now division. Division one gets a real number divided by i gets pure imaginary number. And the division, you have to remember that you create the smart one with the conjugate of the complex number in the denominator gets minus i. And you multiply now one time minus i and minus i, and this is minus i squared. One more time, I know the i squared is negative one. So in my mind, I replace minus minus one. Double the minus become positive. Positive one is invisible. Therefore, the answer is minus i. Any question? It's a review. The review I am doing a little bit fast, no? Because I suppose that this movie we see before. But you don't hesitate to ask me a minimum question. No? You need to understand very, very well this. No problem, guys. Sure. No? Erase. Mm -hmm. OK. Doing number number eight. Number eight is super easy. However, some students make a mistake because they don't understand very well. Suppose we have five plus six i 
minus 1 plus 7i plus 2 plus 10i. Okay, so I'm studying, I don't know why doing FOIL. No, no, no. FOIL is multiplication. This is addition and subtraction. And the only thing you should do is remove the parentheses and the positive stay the same, but the negative, no. In the negative, you change the sign is minus one, minus seven i, because this minus affect everything inside this parentheses, and this stay the same. Okay, no foil, it's addition subtraction. You remove the parentheses, be careful. When you have minus, this minus affect everything inside the parentheses, and you have after the minus, no? So now we combine real, real, and real. 5 minus 1 is 4, plus 2 is 6. Imaginary, imaginary, imaginary. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. Negative 1 plus 10 is positive 9. Final answer. Okay, no FOIL, no FOIL is multiplication. FOIL is an mnemonic divide to remember multiplication is the next, the next problem. Everything is clear? Yes. Okay, let's do it in the next. The next is multiplication. Multiplication, you apply FOIL. But in this case, in number nine, you multiply three complex numbers. It's not important. Say you are doing exactly the same three or four or two. You apply foil, but you apply foil two times. And you can apply associative property. That means can you multiply, for example, the first complex number times the second. And the answer of this you multiply by the third. Or the ordering is not important. A time B time C is equal A time C time B or other combination. <clears throat> of course, <clears throat> there are no reason to select weird combination. You multiply the first and the second. So in my mind, I separate A minus 5i time 2 plus 6i. And you foil, foil, foil. 16, uh, 48i, so this, minus 10i, uh, minus 30i square. Okay, you know very, very, very well, okay, i squared, negative one, you know, you know. Therefore, to make easy and short and fast, you delete this, and you change the sign of this, right? We're now ready to say 16 plus 30, 46. Minus, minus no plus, 38i. Que es subtraction, 48 minus 10. Cool? I feel it, no. I need to multiply by the third. Que I use it for the last moment. And ya, you apply foil one more time. Then you multiply 46 times 4, what I put in the calculator, 46 times 4, 184. You multiply 46 times 2, uh, 92, no? 46 times 2, 92, yeah, 92 I. And you multiply inner case 38 and 4 152 i and finally 38 and 2 case 76 but actually 76 i square you know again happens always when you apply for it happen that situation I square you replace by negative one. That sign is negative. Now the real part is this and this. 184 minus 76 is 108. 
annoying, one way, positive, is a real part. And the imaginary part is 92 plus 152, 244. 244i, final answer. That multiplication three complex number, and you are doing in either order, you take two a by foil. And the answer for this foil, you multiply by the third one. Apply foil, foil one more time, two times. Any question? No, no question. Okay. Now we are doing number 10, okay, it's easy also. Number 10 is. Uh, it's a compound, no, it's a complicated number thing. No, but it's no big deal. It's bracket four plus two i minus uh, six minus four i plus the bracket. This represents the numerator part as a fraction. And the denominator, we have two plus three i. According to the order of operation, you should do first operation inside the grouping symbol, no? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And when you have fractions, you can manipulate the top part and the bottom part completely independent. Completely independent. And finally, the last operation is the division. Okay? Okay, now in this case, so okay, you focus C and the expression inside this. Basically, I take this, I take this. You remove the parentheses, why not? And you copy four plus two i minus six plus four i. Because this minus affect everything. The six is positive, but it'll become negative, and this negative four i is negative, become positive. And we combine later. It's a real, real, it's minus two, and this is imaginary. Imaginary is 6i. Actually, in this moment, we have the division of minus 2 plus 6i divided by 2 plus 3i. And this is the classical problem of the division if you apply the smart one. And the smart one always is formed by conjugate of the complex number in the denominator. Okay, so I guess the complex number in the denominator is 2 plus 3i and its conjugate is 2 minus 3i. Okay, now I remember very well that we have a shortcut to do fast the multiplication of the two complex number conjugate. It is multiplication 2 times 2 by 4 Always plus, always, 3 times 3, okay, 9. And it's a 4 plus 9, get 13. Okay, at least I did the first part. Now, in the top part, no, no shortcut. It's regular foil. You multiply 2 times 2 with negative minus 4. Minus 2 times minus 3i is positive 6i. 6i times 2 is 12. And 6i times minus 3i is minus 18i squared. More time happening, i is squared is negative 1. Then I erase this negative 1, this i squared, if I become positive. So this is real, real, 14, positive. And this is imaginary, imaginary is 18. Okay, almost we finish because the only thing you should do is split this common denominator, 14 over 13 plus 18 over 13i. And this is my answer, express a nice, elegant standard form. This is the real part. And this is the imaginary part. And 
this is a complex number together, no? Any question? What part is confusing? What part you don't understand very well? No? Everything is clear? Yes. Okay, number, we finished complex number, no more. Now let's go directly to the quadratic equation and different way in square roots and quadratic formula and, and complete the square. Look, this is parenthesis number 11. Parenthesis P plus seven square equal 19. Okay, it's easy because somebody know me, uh, factorization that part, as I take advantage of this, you apply a square root method, you apply a square root here, and a square root here. I know very well that square root and square cancel out each other, does P plus seven, S equal plus or minus, don't forget plus or minus square root 19, and 19 is impossible simplification because 19 is a primary number. Therefore, P alone is my goal, is minus seven plus or minus square root 19. And this is the final answer. Solution set to solution always, not always, but 99% of the time is minus seven plus or minus radical 19. Okay. Or in Alex, you can separate, no? Minus seven plus radical 19, comma, minus seven minus radical 19. Anything else? Uh, this answer is real, no imaginary, no complex, but it's irrational. Okay, look like we are, but it's real. Okay, you understand? Yes, yes. similar idea is number 12. Twelve is p minus ten square equal two hundred. Okay, I take advantage. It's square. Somebody do the factorization. So you apply. This is the thing that you apply. Is called a square root method. Is the name of this procedure? The p minus ten. S equal plus or minus the square root of 200. Oh, but 200, yes, it's possible simplification because 200 is 2 and 100. And the square root is, this is 10. Because 100 is perfect square number. Actually, this is P minus 10. S equal plus or minus 10 radical 2. So to stay inside the radical 10, uh, 10 no. Then fly outside because it's the the answer of the square root 100 k is perfect square number. Therefore, the final answer p is equal move 10 to the other side plus or minus 10 radical 2. Okay, and now you put 10 plus 10 radical 2, comma 10 minus 10 radical 2. Uh huh. Everyone follow me? It's easy or no? Yes. Okay. Yes. That was number 12. Now let's do it now. Number uh, 1314, que is using that now. You know, specification, the method. You select what are the formula. Well, actually, you select the best way 
But in this case, it's impossible factorization. Now, quadratic formula is efficiency. A is 1, B is 1, and C is 5. And you apply the formula. Minus B plus or minus square root B squared and 4AC divided by 12. Substitution. Minus 1 plus or minus square root 1 squared minus 4 multiplication by 1 is A multiplication by C que es 5 divided by 2 times 1. Que es 2. Okay, as all we have been, we focus in the expression inside and 1 square 1 minus 20 que es the multiplication 4 times 1 times 5 es negative 19. Entonces, when expression inside the radical is negative, it's because the solution is complex. This i radical 19. No more simplification. Now, finally, 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 <coughs> we have minus 1, negative 1 plus minus i radical 19 divided by 2. Okay, the elegant way, when it's a complex, you split this common denominator. When it's real, no, but when it's complete, yes, because you need to indicate, you separate the real part and the imaginary part. You put an I here, but again, I think or two. This is my beautiful finalist. Cool? That was number 13. The number 14 is similar. Is x squared plus x plus 1 equals 0. Super easy. A is 1, B is 1, C is 1. Again, you apply the famous quadratic formula. Everything is 1 in this example. So minus 1 plus and minus square root 1 square minus 4 multiplication by 1 multiplication by 1. Everything divided by 2 times 1. Okay, now here inside the radical, remember the order of operation is a 1 minus 4 minus 3. And the square root minus 3 is 3. It's square root i radical 3. So, so we have minus 1 plus and minus i radical 3 divided by 2, que es 2 times 1. Uh -huh. so, so let's do it. Let's do it yeah, directly. Let's split this common denominator, 2 here and 2 here. Okay. Any question? What are the uh, formula? Are you feeling strong in quadratic formula? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Okay. All right, now, and I, I guarantee you 100%, and the test is there one question in which mandatory you need to solve in the quadratic equation by completing the square. And some people, some students don't respect this. And solving by the quadratic formula. When you are doing this, you have zero in this question. At day one, day one, can you solve them by completing the square? The complete the square, remember, is like the proof of the quadratic formula. And what is the system out of the way? Well, in this case, it's super easy because the coefficient here is 1. Nice. I appreciate so much this. The coefficient is not 1. This is more complicated. But in the test, no. I don't want to complicate too much of your life. You copy this. You move 10 to the other side. And you put it here in that box. The magic number que da complete the square. And the famous formula for the complete square number is b over 2 squared. 
And this specific example be a four, so it actually is four over two squared. Four divided by two is two and two squared. Four is a coincidence. No, all we have, but in this case, having okay, is this number equal to this number. Okay, okay, okay. It's the thing of the mathematics. Okay, <clears throat> now I guarantee you can that moment this trinomial is perfect square and the factorization is no two parentheses, it's only one because it's perfect square, x plus two. We confront these two, these two is a square root four and this x is a square root x square. And the right hand side we have minus six. Okay, cool. Now, we be ready to apply a square root method, square root both sides is x plus two equal plus or minus, don't forget the plus or minus, and this is i, is imaginary, radical six, and radical six, six have no possibility to simplification because six is two and three, we have no couple factor, therefore x alone is my final answer, minus two plus or minus i radical six. In Ale, you write like that, minus 2 plus i radical 6, comma, minus 2 minus i radical 6. But in the test on paper, you leave it like that, it's perfect. An equation completely square. No? All right, let me see. Opinion, guy. Everything is okay. This test is easy. Oh no. Let me check the name. Daniel, Sebastian, Elsa, Caleb, Jasmine, Stephanie, Emily, Eric, Karen, Jasmine, eh, Shai, Hill. Gloria, Michael, Hamlet, Leonice. Ah, Simeri. You, 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 you definitely you get inside. Yes or no? Michael, Sarah is inside. Wow. Hey, explain me what, what, how you get that inside. Suddenly happened, no? Sarah. Hey, Sarah, no. Uh, is me? Si, sí, Sara, Sara, Sara Sofia, Anika, Fernando, uh, Apolinario. Okay, okay. Okay, to say now we are doing now 16, que es similar. 16 is uh, another example of the complete square. Uh-huh is x squared plus 6x plus 18 is equal to zero. same organization. You copy x squared 6x, you move 18 to the other side, and you put a box that complete the square. It's a magic number, I call it magic number. And the formula for the magic number is you take b divided by two squared. In our specific example, b is six. So it's six divided by two squared, six divided by two is three, and three squared is nine. And this is nine here, and nine here. So now, when this situation you are doing, this trinomial is perfect square, and the factorization is x plus three. Why three? Because three is a square root nine. In the right hand side, we have minus nine. Okay, ready to apply square root both side. Nice. Now we have x plus three equal plus or minus three i. Therefore, x along is minus three plus or minus three i. Okay, and in Alex. 
you never using the double sign plus or minus you put separately minus three plus three i separate by comma minus three minus three i super easy super easy any question no 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 question A ver, let me see. Anika, no. Ok. Ok, Anika. Ahí está. Let's complicate your life now. Let's do in this question 17. Es C to the 4 power. Minus 5. C squared plus 6 equal to 0. Es very easy. Ok, good. For you. The easy or hard es relative. Depending your level. And mathematics. Okay, so your level is good. You believe that this is easy. Okay, this is a classical example. This is polynomial, no? Poly. A poly or no? Let me know. Yes. Yeah, poly. And it's quadrat in front, yo or no? Come on, guy, I need participation. Only the same. Yes. Yes, yes, because the exponent, Anika is a yes, the, the exponent is 4 and 2, no? Entonces, es, uh -huh, uh -huh. Entonces, it's quite in front because this exponent is twice this exponent, okay? Entonces, the thing is quite is we can convert this equation in quadratic equation, and it's easy. But my next question addition is, what is the degree of this equation? What is the degree of this equation? Four. Four. How many solutions we expect when you finish the problem? Four solutions. Four solutions. Okay. This is important property for the polynomial equation. Polynomial and it's a coincidence. It's polynomial and quadrat in front. So say quadrat in front is the easy way that you apply for solving the polynomial. Uh -huh. Now I need to know that the degree four we expect at the, at the when the ending the the solution we expect for solution. Okay, okay, okay. And what about uh, what about you? Who is you? What is the definition of the you? In this uh, example, to convert this equation to quadratic. What is you? What is you? What is you? What is you? This is the most important. That's uh, what. And C, C to the C. second power. The second power. You take always the smaller exponent. When you rewrite the equation, this equation is minus 5u, and this is u squared. Do you follow me or no? Kai, this is magic. Yeah. Oh. I follow you. Uh -huh. Now, I am in from one elementary Quadratic equation. Okay, we can solve it by what method you propose me for solving this quadratic equation. The new equation using u. Okay, using u variable. What what it method? Factorization. Exactly. Very, very well. Factorization. Remember, you spend two seconds. So you see the combination, you don't hesitate. This is three and two, no? Negative both. Yes or no? Yes. Therefore, one solution is three and one solution is two. But this is the final answer? No. Because they say you value. Remember, the transformation was the original variable is Z. You transform it, you change the variable. You convert magically to quadratic equation. You solve it by factorization. Nice for you. Now, this is a crucial moment in which you need to retrieve the C solution. And let's see is C squared equal 3. And C squared equal 2. No? And you have in this moment in front of two um, a quadratic equation, but easy, incomplete quadratic equation. And C is equal plus or minus radical 3. And C is equal plus or minus radical 
So the solution is, suppose que you put in Alex, radical 3, minus radical 3, comma radical 2, comma minus radical 2. For solution exactly, we expect you predict at the beginning. In this case, everything is real. Cool. Any question? No questions. This is very easy for me. Let's move on to the 18, que look like we are. C to the sixth power, minus 152. Don't be scared because we have calculated, no? The number, 3,375 equals zero. Okay, I try to identification the problem. The problem is, this is equation. It's polynomial equation, yes or no? Yes. Uh-huh, the answer is yes. Is quadrat in front? Yes or no? Yes. yes. Because look, the exponent six is twice the exponent three. So using a smart substitution, uh -huh, I can convert this equation to quadratic. Okay, cool, cool. Uh -huh, uh -huh. What is the degree? What is the degree? What is the degree? This equation. Six. Six. How many solutions we expect when you finish that? Six. 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 So Wow. The solution include guys six, include real and complex. Okay. Uh -huh. My next question is what is the U substitution? What is the U substitution? U equal what? What is the U substitution? What is it? Negative 150. 152? No, 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 no include, no include the coefficient, it's C cubic. The, the, no include the coefficient, only C. So you have two possibilities, C to the six power or C to the cubic power. It's so obvious you take always the smaller, yes? Okay, now when you write the equation is 3,375 plus 100 minus 152 u, and it's a u square. Yes or no? And this new equation is quadratic equation. Okay, of course, I solving because it's so horrible doing another way using the quadratic formula. A1, P is negative 152, and C is 3,000, possibly 375. So my quadratic formula. Is double minus 152 is negative and the formula has a minus double minus is positive. Square root 152 square. Don't be scared you little by little you are doing using the calculator. Let's do it together now. Divided by two times one. Uh -huh. So now I focus it as always in the expression inside the radical. Uh huh. Um, <clears throat> let's do in the part inside. If I put in my calculator, one fifty two square. 152 square. It's a big number. It's 23,104. Minus. Now multiplication. 4 times 1 gets 4. Times 3,375. It's 13,500. Now subtraction, little by little, minus 23,104 is <coughs> positive 9,604. Now ready to take square root both sides. When you take square root both sides, square roots, 
you need to know in your own calculator how you find the square root. The answer is 98. Okay, that's so far we have. We have so far 152 plus or minus 98 divided by 2. Okay, so you split in two parts. 152 plus 98 divided by 2, and 152 minus 98 divided by 2. So this 152 plus 98 is 250. Ooh. 250 divided by 2 is 125. Okay, remember this is not the final answer, it is the U value. And 152 minus 98 is 54. And 54 divided by 2 is 27, I guess so. No? By 2 is 27, yeah. Okay, now ready. I have two U values. So I, I take in the piece of paper for U equal 125. I split the paper and for u equal 27. But who is u? u is c is cubic. So c cubic is equal 125 and c cubic equal 27. So now the elementary solution you apply cubic root both sides, but you lost information because you get only the real solution. You want to get, remember, we have six solutions because the degree of this polynomial is six. You doing different. You are doing like that. Look, it's a C cubic minus 125 equal to zero. This is classical. You put in a standard any polynomial and you, and you apply 27, sorry. And you apply 527. Now you need to remember one formula that we studied in intermediate algebra it is the difference of cubic. A cubic minus B cubic, 526 is A minus B, A squared plus AB plus B squared. And you apply this in this scenario and in this scenario. You have two parentheses. One short, one long. Because on the shore we have binomial and the low we have trinomial. No? And the cubic root is a z minus 5 because I know very, very well the cubic root z cubic is z. And cubic root 125 is 5. It's z minus 5. And then the trinomial part we have square the first plus multiplication both. Who is both? 5z. Plus the square the second case, five squared is 25. Let me try to do it in another. Simultaneously, because it's similar. This is z minus three. Oh, why three? Because cubic root 27 is three. Uh -huh. And the square part, the sc squared minus three z of nine. Where come from this nine? Is three squared. And we have four. Equation gets c minus 5 equal to 0. Oh, it's easy. c is 5. This is the real, first real solution. But you have another equation, gets c squared plus 5z plus 25 equals 0. It's a quadratic equation. But when you solve in this quadratic equation, we have two solutions. So we have one solution here, two solutions here. And likewise, c minus 3 equals 0 gets real also, c equals 3 is the third solution, number three solution, and we have the solution of the c squared minus three c plus nine equal to zero, get quadratic, and give me four and five solution. All right, one, two, three, four, two solutions, two solutions. So this is three, third solution, four and five solution. How many solutions? The six solution. No? We have two solutions, so we have three, four, five, and six, okay. 
OK, solution of this, I expect complex solution. Now you apply, of course, the quadratic formula. A1, BFI, C25. So it is minus B plus or minus square root B square minus 4AC divided by 2A. It's minus 5 plus or minus square root 5 square minus 4 multiplication by 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 A get 1 multiplication by C get 25. Divided by 2 times 1. Okay, let me use another color. Let's focus in the operation inside the radical. This is 25. And it's 100. So 4 times 1 times 25, 100 is minus 75. And the square root minus 75 is obvious, it's imaginary. It's I something. Let me copy down. It's minus 5 plus and minus I. Because this is I square root 75. Okay, I suppose that we can simplify a little bit this part. Divided by 2. Divided by 2. Divided by 2. Uh, 75 is divisible by 5. It's 3 and 25, no? 3 and 25. Uh -huh. And the square root 20, 75 is the square root 3. And the square root 25 gets 5. And one fantastic way to simplification is minus 5 over 2 plus or minus 5i radical 3 over 2. Boom. We have two solutions more. One solution, first one, two solution. Uh, this is one, this is two and three solution. Four is this. And we solving similar this k we expect two complex more. A is one, B is minus three, is minus or plus, a plus. Everything is plus. It's a mistake. It's a plus. Look, it's a plus. And it's a plus. Let's say a, a, B is three and C is nine. I know it gets too long. Sorry. I never put this in the test something like that. Okay, let's do it quickly. It's uh, minus 3 plus or minus square root 9, k square minus 4, multiplication by 1, multiplication by 9, divided by 2. And 1 gets 2. So it's 9 minus 36. It's b k 9, uh, 3 square 9. 9 minus 36, k 4 times 9 is 27. So the expression inside here give me 27, minus 27. And the square root minus 27 is, you know, is I radical 27. But we can simplify it because 27 divided by 3 is 9. And the square root 27 is the square root 9 is 3. So it actually is 3I radical 3. And finally, we split minus 3 over 2 plus or minus. 3i radical 3 over 2. And we have the number 5 and number 6 solution. And we finish this. Do you follow me? Look like horrible? Now complicated or no? Tell me something. Okay, you say that's too easy for me. This is this is easy, no? I suppose it's too long. So the most important characteristic is you know the the complications, you know, the the okay, you spend a lot of time doing this, no? And a lot of time mean maybe we we make everyone make a mistake. The most of people make a mistake. No mistake, no? No mistake. Okay, let's move on to the easy part. Radical equation. We have two radical equations, and the rest is super easy. The absolute value is super easy. Suppose this, number 19 is a square root x plus 8 plus 12 equal x. I promise can the test you see one question like that. 
Uh -huh. And be careful with this equation because you need to check it. Mandatory checking. I don't see checking, zero for you. Okay, so what should I do? Isolate the radical. I never touch the original. Now ready to apply square on both sides. X plus eight is equal and you foil this. First, X squared. Outer, minus 12. X, inner, minus 12 again. And last, positive 144. Okay, in that moment, we transform it a little bit our original equation, okay, radical equation. The name of this equation is radical equation. However, this equation that we have in this moment is not radical anymore. We destroyed the radical. Now this is a quadratic equation. To solve any quadratic equation, you need to write in a standard form. Okay, so first of all, solve algebra manipulation. This is 24. 12 and 12 together is 24. 144. Now, Expressing a standard. I move everything to the one side, left or right, doesn't matter. And, and suppose I, I move it like that 24x plus 144 minus x minus a. I move this case to, to the right. And this we have nothing as zero. So my equation is x squared minus 25x. Uh, plus 136, no? So 144 minus say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me check in just in case in the calculator. Cool. Okay, so if you want, you feel more comfortable, you write the equation like that. Okay, nice. Now, determine who is A, B, C. A is 1, B is negative 25, and C is 136. And you apply the quadratic formula one more time. Okay, it's 25 positive because we have again the same situation, the negative in the formula, negative of the value together is positive. It's a negative 25 squared. Minus 4 multiplication by 1 multiplication by 136 divided by 2. Uh -huh. Hey, Professor, the meeting wasn't working before me. Okay, I suppose the next time it's working. So, sir, I recommend you install in your device the application no? and set up perfectly the credential, username, and password. Okay, the, Professor. Uh -huh. and, I don't know if it's a problem. And never you know it's an inner, internet problem. Or, uh. Okay. Yeah, I was here. I was in the chat, but like I could have joined in the chat, but like the other, uh, I didn't see sorry. anything the whole time. And I but tried. You see very well the whiteboard and you hear Yeah, me? I see it now. Okay. Now it has let me see it, but before, okay. I was here the whole time. Well, but okay, forget about the chat, and you activate the microphone when you have a question. Like, like, like oh, now, I'm sorry. You, you are okay. speaking, okay? So, cool. I put in a calculator, 725 is negative 25 squared, minus four times one, okay, of course, four, multiplication by 136, is 544. Now subtraction. 81. And the square root of 81 is 9. And so far, <clears throat> we have 25 plus and minus 9 divided by 2. So we to understand how much better, I split into part. Positive and negative, separately. 
Okay, 25 plus 9, 34, divided by 217. Let me check in the calculator just in case. 25 plus 9, yeah, 34, divided by 217. And 25 minus 9 is 16, I guess, so, no? Yeah, no, 9, all right? Minus 9, minus 9. 25 minus 9 is 16, yeah. And 16 divided by 2 is 8. And this is our, my potential solution. I need to verify. So you leave it like that. You have zero. You need to check in. Mandatory, because it's conceptually, you know? So you check in for, check in for x equals 17. And you check in for x equals 8. Where? You check in where? In the original equation. The reason I need to check in is because in the process of the algebra, you transform this equation in another equation. And this another equation is easier than the original is no equivalent 100%. And this situation happened only, well, not only, you see another equation, but not in this chapter. Entonces es mandatorio de checking for. Sí, pero sí, sí, es just arithmetic, es square root 17 plus 8 plus 12 outside the radical should be equal 17. And likewise, square root 8 plus 8 plus 12 is equal 8. I claim this because I want to prove it's true or not. This is 25. And it's square root 25, 5. If 5 plus 12, of course, 17. OK, this answer is cool. Check mark. And this is 16. And it's square root 16 is 4. And 4 plus 12, no 8. No, 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 no. Now the solution A is wrong. And the only solution that we have in this problem is 17. That's it. The solution of this equation is 17. A is extraneous. K is introduced in the transformation of the algebra. I verify in the original, no, doesn't work. Therefore, no solution. Clear? Clear yes. or no? Okay. So I suppose that everyone get 100 points in this test, no? This test is, is you fail this test. They, I interpret they get you don't know anything. Because another test is hard. But this is easy. Okay, one more radical equation. Is square root x plus 4 plus a outside the radical equal x. It's similar. You isolate the radical. Step number one. Step number two is square. Square allow me destroy this radical. And now you foil x minus a times e sub x times x x square x times minus a and minus a x. This and this is the same because they are twin brother, no? And this is sixty-four. Okay, in that moment we have quadratic equation. Uh, I need to manipulate in order to express a standard to be ready to apply the quadratic formula or factorization, I don't know. X squared minus 16X plus 64. By the way, I do fast. I'm moving X here, I'm moving four. And this is nothing, zero. So say zero equal X squared minus 17X plus 16. Okay, let me write 
the equation in this because I feel more comfortable looking in that way. What do you think? Factorization or what are the formula? Quadratic formula. Okay. It's doing. But factorization is possible doing, but you don't see the combination. Okay, no problem. You see when you finish, you see, ah, okay. F1, negative 17, and 60. So in the formula is minus b plus or minus square root b square minus 4ac divided by 2a is 17 positive plus or minus square root minus 17 a square minus 4 times 1 times 60 divided by 2 times 1. Okay, I think my calculator, of course. Yeah, I focus it and the expression inside the radical. 17 squared. I put in my calculator. 17 squared. 2, 2, 289. Minus, ah, this is easy, not necessarily calculator. It's 240. And this is subtraction is 49. No? It's obvious, right? And the square root 49 is 7. So the 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 solution is seventeen plus or minus seven divided by two. Oh, it's split into part. Seventeen plus seven divided by two, and seventeen minus seven divided by two. Seventeen plus seven is twenty-four, and twenty-four divided by two is twelve. And this is 10 divided by 2 is 5. They need to verify 12 and 5 and the original radical equation. I copy x equal 12. Yeah, I copy x equal 5. And the original. A square root 12 plus 4 plus 8 outside the radical is equal to. This is my first thing I need to check it. The second one is 5 plus 4 plus A outside is equal to 5. Uh, 12 plus 4 is 16, and square root 16 is 4, and 4 plus A is 12. Good. It's okay. 5 plus 4 is 9, and square root 9 is 3, and 3 plus A is 11, no 5. No good. The solution is only 12. Do you see, Elsa, that the combination 5 and 12 working perfectly in the factorization? Because yes, I yeah. saw now, but at the first okay. time I didn't see it. No, no, it's okay, it's okay. You you don't see. Sometimes happen me, okay? I don't see the combination. However, when I solve it by quadratic formula, wow, I see the combination. I understand now the combination, but oh, it's okay. Well, we spend the rest of the time, it's not too much for doing the equation and inequality of the actual value. Guys, I warning you, this is a typical mistake in the, in the, in the test. I don't know, the student don't respect the actual value, remove the actual value bar like a nothing, and this is not true. Okay. Okay, equation. 21, 21st. Absolute value, 5x plus 2, equal a. Wow, easy. Remember, what is the tragedy? You copy the expression, so you copy twice in the equation. But we are doing equation. And you copy 8, and you copy, copy negative 8, because we have two solutions. And the rest is easy. Linear equation, solve them both together, and that's it. 5x is equal a minus 2. 5x equals 6 divided by 5. First solution is 6 over 5. Uh -huh. Second is 5x is equal minus 8 minus 2 is minus 10 divided by 5 and negative 2. 
Okay, wait, 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 wait. Divided by positive five. That's negative. The solution is two solutions, six over five and negative. Good? Cool? Yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Number 20 second is tricky because you need to know that we cannot apply this idea. And the reason is conceptually because when you have equation, it contains actual value and the right hand side is negative number is a contradiction because this expression can involve actual value is distant is always positive and positive quantity equal negative one this is completely stupid therefore no solution and you don't need to do anything if you want you explain in the test okay now let's go let's go to the inequality remember inequality 24 question and 25 question and that's it in 24 we have actual value of 5x plus 12 less than or equal 30. okay please pay attention this is the mistake in the test the student don't know don't understand how you solve this and the second is 2x plus 8 greater than 12. Okay, okay. Remember, inequality, you can categorize like a two plus two cases when it's less than and when it's greater than. When this less than is one piece, when it's greater than, the solution contains two pieces. Uh huh. So now, what are the pieces? Easy. You 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 take the expression inside the bar. Is okay, five x plus twelve, and you put in between thirty and minus thirty, and you have compound inequality uh, of the three pieces: subtracting twelve, subtracting twelve, subtracting twelve. So this is negative forty-two. We said 5x, of course, the part is canceled. That was the intention. And this is 8. 8, no, 18, no? All right, 30 minus 12. Yeah, 18. 18. 18 positive, no? Finally, divided by 5, everything. Okay, and negative 42 over 5. Let's double equal x. And let's done or equal 18 over 5. And you need to read careful the test. The test is specification. You leave it like that? No. No. Zero point for you. So you leave it like that. You express this answer in interval notation. This is super important. Interval notation. And this notation is easy. You copy the lower bound, get minus 42, the smaller. Separate by comma, the upper case 18 over 5, and you put a parenthesis or bracket depending of the include or not include the endpoint. Of course, include it because the equal sign indicates us. Include the endpoint and the symbolic way to indicate this idea bracket bracket. Cool? Cool? Yes. Now, greater than case, Emily, is to peace. To say you copy 2x plus 8 two times. Uh huh, you put greater than 12 and less than minus 12 because it's too far, not close, too far in both directions. You, know, you have inequality, you solve in the compound inequality, you convert the inequality into inequality, but without actual value symbol. Okay, now, now, now we focus on this. It's easy as 2x. Greater than 12 minus 8, get 4. Bar by 2, no problem. X greater than 2. Uh -huh. The second is, well, 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 let me try. This is 2x. Less than minus 12 minus 8 is 20. 
two x less than minus 20. But by two, both sides is minus 10. X less than minus 10. Okay, okay, okay. So now, how you express the final answer? Leave it like that. No, no, zero. No. What, what should I do? Well, you, 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 see, so you don't understand very well. You are doing the all, all real number line. You ending in all real number line. Look at that. This is all real number line. Okay. Uh -huh. This is infinity in that direction. It's a negative infinity in that direction. E, you have, for example, that part gets two. Zero is zero. One, two. Um, I suppose can negative thing in here. So that part is from two to infinity in that direction. And that part, let me use another color, is less than, this is to the left. Okay? And, and never include the endpoint. So what's the final answer? The final answer is answer, answer, answer. The pink part is from negative infinity, comma negative 10, parenthesis, because do not include 10. Do you understand that no include 10 because no equal here? Union, and you connecting by union when you have two disjoint interval, union, and the other two come in. Ah, this is the answer I want to see. Please remember one piece less than, two piece greater than, okay? If no mandatory doing the number line analysis, but you want, you can, okay? Okay, so today, let's do the day at midnight. Tomorrow in the morning, I start grading this test number one. Cool. Bye-bye. Have a nice day, everyone. You too. Bye.